So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate why it is completely pointless to take a bubble level or an app-based bubble level on a mobile phone on board an aircraft expecting it to work reliably because it will not. I'm going to compare two phone apps, one of an artificial horizon and one of a bubble level against two aviation grade attitude heading reference systems on board the Qantas aircraft when I was returning home from Sydney the other day. You will see that when the aircraft is turning, the aviation grade instruments indicate the turn correctly. The phone based apps are easily fooled and they indicate level even while the aircraft is turning. So this video is absolute proof why it is completely pointless to take these levels on board the aircraft and quite deceptive to then present that evidence as evidence of a flat earth. So in this video, we're going to be using two aviation grade attitude heading reference systems on board the Qantas aircraft when I was returning from the USA to Sydney and comparing the indications from these units to the indications in two mobile phones using a bubble level app and also an artificial horizon app. Now the first unit is this Dynon Avionics D2, which I have shown you in a previous video. It is self-contained and it's basically a miniature artificial horizon. But the second instrument is a new unit that I picked up while in the USA last week and it's called a Stratus 2S. Now this has multiple features and one of those is a portable attitude heading reference system which you can use on an iPad. There are several apps. The one on the left is running for flight and the one on the right is running a special app dedicated for this unit. Now you'll see when I roll the device right and then left, it is showing you the correct indication. When I pitch up, it's showing a pitch up indication on the iPad and when I pitch down, it's showing a pitch down indication on the iPad. Also if I yaw left and right you can see that the turn coordinator instrument on the right hand iPad is showing that you're appropriately. Now the other exciting thing about this unit is that it also has an inbuilt GPS but also an ADSB receiver. So this unit can receive information from other aircraft directly from their transponder and if we have a look here you can see it's picking up Qantas flying into Sydney right now. This is in real time. It's showing the speed and the elevation and the direction the aircraft is flying. And that is coming directly from the transponder of the aircraft itself. Now the reason the display here is red is because this four flight program has terrain awareness and obviously because we're on the ground we're fairly close to the terrain and that's why it's showing red. Now, if I was flying, that would change to yellow as I climbed and then eventually green when we're at a safe flying altitude above the terrain. So these two devices are going to feature in the video. And now let's take a look at the phone apps that I was comparing them against. So what we have here are two phones. The one on the left is a Samsung Galaxy S7. It's running a cheap artificial horizon app. And the phone on the right is an iPhone 6 running a bubble level app. Now I've got the Stratus 2S on a table here. And I'm going to just roll left and right to show you that the phone apps do show correct indication while we are on the ground. And the Stratus will reflect any relevant role. So I'm just going to bank to the left. Now you can see the artificial horizon is showing that bank, the bubble level is responding accordingly, and the apps are showing that left bank with the Stratus 2S. Now notice the amount of bank and notice what the bubble level is showing because that's important to what we're going to see in flight. If I just increase that bank slightly, you can see the bubble level is hard off to the side and the amount of bank is still quite shallow. Now let's go the other way, rolling to the right. You'll see the bubble level is moving off to the left now. The 
the phone artificial horizon is showing that right roll and so are the two iPads. So they appear to be working just fine on the ground but as you will see in flight it's a very different story and this is why it is completely pointless to take a phone based bubble level or phone based level app on board an aircraft and expect it to show you anything of relevance. Now this is true also for a physical bubble level. And there's a physical bubble level I've just placed in for the purpose of the demonstration. You can see if I move that table, the real bubble level is showing the same indication as the phone bubble level. A slight amount of left bank indicated by the stratus and the phone based artificial horizon. Once again, in flight, it is completely pointless to take a bubble level or a mobile phone based level or an app based on a mobile phone because they're completely unreliable and I'll be demonstrating that in this video. So I just want to explain a little of the footage that I obtained while on the aircraft. The first part is just showing you that I was in fact on the aircraft. I have the two instruments ready to go with the iPads. There's the Stratus 2S. The next part is just as we were lining up and taking off. What I demonstrate here is that as we commence our takeoff roll, you'll see that just prior to accelerating, the phone based artificial horizon is showing correctly, and so is the Stratus. Now, as we start to accelerate, you'll see we're accelerating there. The Stratus is still showing no nose up pitch, which is correct because we're still on the runway. We're only doing 14 knots and accelerating. However, already the phone based app is showing significant error because it's already indicating a 10 degree nose up pitch. Now that's an erroneous indication as a result of the acceleration of the aircraft. So it's not just measuring the pure attitude of the aircraft at all. It's measuring the combined force from gravity and also acceleration. So therefore it's completely unreliable on an aircraft and you're going to see that further shortly. Because after takeoff, we then commenced a turn to the left. And you can see just prior to the turn, it's showing the climb and the Stratus is showing the climb as well. Then we commenced a turn to the left. Now you can see there that the angle of bank, this is a little sky pointer, the angle of bank is exceeding 20 degrees angle of bank. So the aircraft is in a turn and yet look at that. The aviation grade instrument is correctly showing the turn of the aircraft. The phone based app is not showing any turn at all. It's remaining level even when the aircraft is in a banked turn of more than 20 degrees. Now later on in the video we go into a holding pattern as we're approaching Sydney so you're going to see more demonstrations of this same effect and at a later point in the flight I also have the bubble level phone app side by side. I'll show you that now. And this part of the video is just towards the end of the flight prior to making our final approach. We were flying in a holding pattern. At this point we were level and you can see the indications in the iPad and also the two phone apps are that we were level. I look outside the window so that you can see that we are not turning and shortly thereafter we went into a left turn as part of that holding pattern. You can see it's indicated on the iPad and the Dynon D2. However, in the mobile phone app, we're not getting the indication of that bank. Remember the demonstration I did just a few moments ago on the table? The artificial horizon in the phone is showing level. The bubble level is still within the level indication and you'll see in fact, it then moves back to the level indication while we are turning at almost 20 degrees, actually almost 30 degrees angle of bank. That's about 26 degrees angle of bank. So we've got quite a lot of angle of bank 
in the turn and yet the phone app is not showing that at all and the bubble level on the phone is still indicating the level. Once again demonstrating that taking a bubble level on board an aircraft is absolutely pointless. And I then pan out of the window again to show you that the wing is now significantly lower than the horizon and that is proving that the aircraft is turning. So it's fairly clear when you watch the video that the aviation quality attitude heading reference systems show correct indications of flight. However, the mobile phones, the artificial horizon app and the bubble level app, and if we had a real bubble level on board, it would be the same, do not show correct indications because they are very easily influenced by any acceleration forces and that is what we have in a turn. That is why it is completely meaningless and pointless and quite naive to take a bubble level on board an aircraft, expecting it to show you anything reliable. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good.
immigration. Collect your bags and make your way to the Qantas domestic transfer facility. Simply follow the signs outside the terminal. And for Jeff's uh, domestic flights, please make your way to Terminal 2. Once again, please remain seated until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. And on behalf of the Qantas team, I'd like to thank you for flying with us today. We trust you enjoyed your flight and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. And I'd also like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. And welcome home to everybody. Thank you.